Hey everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. If this is your first time here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. I appreciate you joining me today. Recently, I've been looking to get a little more into the workwear aesthetic or perhaps more workwear inspired and sort of explore that whole avenue. Now, I also wanted to kind of stay adjacent to heritage, smart casual, all that kind of stuff because I don't like to jump into things all at once. So looking for new stuff, not necessarily vintage yet, but uh, workwear inspired new stuff to kind of expand my styling horizons, right? So I scoured the internet trying to find a nice pair of canvas pants because I wanted that to be my base for exploring this new style. You know, get a pair of pants, pair them with different shirts, jackets, boots, that kind of thing. That's, that's the general idea. So I stumbled upon Grown and Sewn and really just fell in love with the company and the products almost from the get-go. So Grown and Sewn is a company out of Brooklyn, New York, and they are the definition of a small business, I'd say. About as small as it gets, there are two people running the company, which I find to be extremely impressive when you look at the website and you explore their different offerings they have, and especially the amount of development that seems to have gone into the different fabric offerings. There's a lot of thought and a lot of planning that's gone into it. So kudos to Grown and Sewn for pulling off what seems to be a uh, pretty hard thing to do with just a couple of folks on hand. So well done. They position themselves like this. Our mission is to design and produce American made apparel to fit any person with any lifestyle for any occasion anywhere in the world. We've always found it surprisingly difficult to find well-fitting high quality garments that didn't come with a loud brand image or a specific style. that made us feel like we had to be interested in something other than just how the clothes looked or fit. We're not trying to save the world. We're just trying to give each and every one of its inhabitants the chance to own a high quality, simple, sturdy, smartly tailored garment. Now, I think that's a pretty cool mission statement. But don't try to save the world. Just, hey, give an option out here for people that might be looking for a high quality, simple piece of clothes that's just going to work. They have four different pant options. There's the foundation pant, which is what I have. It's a 12 ounce canvas. There's also two types of chinos at different weights and formality levels, it looks like. And there's a more true work pant that has a double knee style. But for my first experience with the company, I wanted to try their flagship. So with a name like Foundation, I figured that must be it. Now, I reached out to talk to Grown and Sewn when I was about to purchase, asked them a few questions, things like that. And they were kind enough to offer to actually send me a pair to review and do this video. So really appreciate that. Thanks, Grown and Son. Appreciate you putting your faith in me to bring these pants to the world and show them off. And so I'm going to review them in this video, of course. And in addition to the review, I'm also going to show off some styles. I want to remind you, I'm definitely not a fashion guru. So these, these may not even look good. I don't know. I'm just exploring this workwear aesthetic for the first time. But I did want to show you uh, what I came up with. So if you're interested in seeing a little more about the pants and maybe what I came up with, please stick around. Thanks. Okay, let's discuss the foundation canvas pant. So as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five colors. We've got the camel, which is what I have. There's also black, which looks pretty cool, pretty classic. There's an olive color, which is a bit, uh, you know, I guess olivey, more like OD as you would expect. There is a barley color, which I should have just clicked over there. There's a barley color, a little bit more normal of a brown than the camel I have. The camel I have is a bit brighter. And then there is also an evergreen version. So I think if I was getting a second pair of these, I would probably do these evergreens. You don't usually get pants in this shade. Most pants are more close to the olive. So I think the evergreen's kind of neat. Okay, so back to the camel pant. Only a few sizes left. They did just go through their Black Friday sale. So a lot of things are, I guess, getting out of stock. I guess that's a good thing for grown and sewn. They've probably sold a good amount, but Real quick, I wanted to sort of go into a little bit more detail about why I picked this particular canvas pan as, you know, the basis for, you know, exploring this new style. So really it all had to do with the fabric. 
So reading this description here, they talk about stateside canvas. It's constructed with stateside canvas, which is a substantial fabric that has a special finish that will develop unique patterns and slowly fade to add character and make each garment one of a kind. So somewhere else, I believe it's, where is it at? So here's the fabric page, stateside canvas. They talk about the version of the fabric we use for this pant undergoes a special dye process that allows the colors to whisker just like raw denim. So I thought that was pretty cool and a pretty interesting claim. So as part of reviewing these, I'm going to wear these a lot because I like them. And I'm going to see if we can actually do that. Now, I'm not the best raw denim fader in the world. I don't generally wear them enough to get quick, really heavy, hardcore fades. But uh, yeah, I want to give these a go, see if we can get some cool patina and cool character on them. So I think that'll be really neat. So 12 ounces for the canvas, which is pretty heavy, if you are familiar with pants. Uh, all cotton, of course. Custom copper hardware, which is really cool. The copper hardware is awesome. I don't know if it's just going to rub off and be stainless underneath or if it'll maybe turn green and blue like an old penny does. I think that might be kind of neat. Uh, it's got a classic fit. You can see in the photos, it's it's a, definitely not slim. It's a little bit wider fitting. You know, good heavy double needle construction, bar tacks where you need them for extra reinforcements. Suede patch on the back, which is another really cool uh, feature there. It's, it's small and out of the way. It doesn't scream, hey, look at me or anything like that. Uh, made in the USA, of course, and there's this cool patch inside the back pocket, so you can't really see it, but you know it's there. I really like details like that where you kind of know it's there. And then, of course, 34-inch inseam. You can cuff these up, uh, and it's not bad. I could have done that. I usually wear about a 29 inseam. I'm 5'8 and a half, but I got these hemmed to uh, 30 inches so that the cuff just isn't as thick, but I still cuff them up, but I did have to get mine shortened. They do offer hemming services. Uh, it's 30 bucks. My tailor charges more like 14, so uh, I'll just get them done at my tailor. No big deal there. But if you don't have a tailor or you don't want to deal with dropping them off and picking them up, you can purchase hemming services here. As far as the styling goes, my base hypothesis is that these pants with any kind of brown boot and any kind of light t-shirt is going to be the base of some really cool stuff. So, of course, we're starting with the Red Wing Iron Ranger 8111s. You know, you can't get more classic for a workwear look than an Iron Ranger along with an American-made pant. Uh, pairing it, you know, here with, with a bag as well. This is a Shinola Canfield Messenger uh, and a similar brown belt. Here's a chore coat or a chore coat style jacket. This one's from the normal brand thrown on there. So you can see how you can just sort of change the look a little bit with an additional piece. But yeah, I think this is a really cool style, and this t-shirt happens to be white, but you could do it with a cream t-shirt. You can do it with really any color t-shirt. You know, kind of use your boots to set the whole outfit off. Here are some Red Wing Mock Toe 1907s. So again, uh, you know, if you're going to lean into the workwear style, go with some Red Wings, but really any brown boot's going to work just fine. This is a Brave Star Selvage Sherpa Trucker that I just had on there. And then lastly, wanted to show off this look here, same boots, but with a brown leather jacket to elevate the look just a slight bit. So really easy style, really versatile style. So I think you should maybe give it a try if you want. Okay, that's it for the video today, everybody. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you got to this point, you are a true believer in the workwear aesthetic, we'll say. But thanks a lot. Let me know if you have any questions below. Of course, there's going to be a link to these pants in the description. And... Have a great day. Thanks.